All right, guys, we are here inside my house, and today we have a very interesting video for you guys. Um, just recently, my truck actually blew up. I was driving down the road, and I heard this thing just make some crazy noises, and then all of a sudden, it said no oil pressure, and the thing stopped running. It was a pretty big crazy boy. noise. He showed me the noise. It was unreal. So I'm kind of laughing at myself right now. I see the stash in the, in the camera. And it's, it's cool, man. It's making me laugh. Keep it really up, hard. man. <laughs> Just keep pushing, dude. Keep pushing. I every day, every day I wake up really hard and I go... <gasps> it's working, dude. Uh, a little hair pops out. A little dye, more <laughs> hair. Comes out. It's a little more dye, a little more hair every single day. Um, so since my truck blew up, I have to drive my CTSV around. And I love driving the CTSV, but that car is pretty much like a collector's car. It is a collector's car, actually. Because the whole reason he wanted to get it was because it was so exclusive, which what? I agree. Did you talk about your mustache on there? <laughs> yeah, yes, Lisa, yes, we yes, talked we about my mustache. Hey, hey. There's anything else we there's, should talk there's, about? There seems to be about 30 for sale in the whole country, uh, the V Wagon. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep the mileage down on the car because I don't want this thing to lose value crazy and just trying to keep it clean and. It's really nasty out right now. The weather is terrible because it's the winter time. So I'm trying to get something while they fix my truck just to drive temporarily. It doesn't have to be crazy. I'm trying to do something on a budget here. $3,000 right here, cash money. That's my budget. And I'm going to attempt to try to find the best deal and the coolest car I possibly can for $3,000. I can't drive uh, manual anymore, so it has to be automatic. So that narrows things down a bunch. Do you know what's crazy about this? There's a lot of you guys who watch the channel that are probably looking for your first car right about now. So we're going to see if you can only do three grand. Because that's like, I mean, I'd say like you're 17 years old, about to get your license. You've been working like a, you know, four boys job or like an ice cream sh shop job for a while. Three grand is probably something you could rack up yourself. You would think so. I'd, I'd say so. And there's there's a lot of there's a lot of good deals out there. We're going to put um, five thousand dollar maximum. Let's just put it with that. So with five. That. That's that's too above budget. Damn it. Right, we can't right, do right. that. Switch it out. Thirty three hundred. Because then we could talk them down the extra three hundred right there. Yeah, I agree. Um, and uh, let's see. Transmission. We'll put it to automatic because that's a must. We need to have automatic. The first thing that shows up is a two thousand three Nissan Murano all wheel drive. Oof. This one. Okay. This one is, this seems a little too good to be true. It's a 2001 Audi Allroad. You know, it's like the wagon. It says 11,000 miles on it. Let's see some pictures. Silver exterior. There's no pictures. All right. Should Big dog's going to call it on his phone so that you don't have to okay. deal with anybody. You ready? You know, yeah, give me the number. Please leave your message for Bevin. Oh, it's not looking good already. Yeah, that's not looking good. That seems like a little sketchy. It's a 2007. Oh, man. 46,000 miles on it. $2,300. 2007 Hyundai Sonata. What? Yeah. You want a Sonata? I do. I almost want to get something that's drivable. You know, drivable, reliable, you know, for the time being. For As is. No motor. One owner. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. The 2007 rang a bell for me. I'm not going to lie. When uh, I saw dude, 2007. I knew sketchy about that. I was like, that's this a the whole cheap. point of you trying to find things here. You never know what you're going to find. What are we right now? 0 and 3? The yeah, Murano, just too good right 246. Now. The All Road, just non existent. It's not a real All Road. Okay, so we're looking. Let me just try to find some. Ooh, this is something up Big Boy's alley right here. The color. Oh, right. man, the I saw it. The color's right. <laughs> 2001 Volkswagen Beetle GL. Oh my god, that's only got 85,000 miles on it. How much do they want for that? 2,900. Dude, that is your color right Dude, there. Big, that is big blue. blue. This, this might turn from uh, Scott again. You imagine if you drove around that thing? Is it stick? Tell me it's stick. Tell me it's stick. It's it stick, is. dude. Let's We're go right now. There. If Let's you go. drove a Beetle around, I would laugh for the rest of my life. Let's go right now. He said that was the one car I'm not allowed to get. What, yeah. a Beetle? Beetle. Yeah, well, Big Boy's allowed to get it. It's just as weird as Big Boy. It's as weird as Big Boy. You see that roof? That thing is des ergonomically designed for a tall human being. Ergonomically. Ergonomically. Er That's a word. That is a word. Ergonomically. Yeah, I don't, think it, I don't think it's the same. Is that a freaking Chrysler it's Sebring? A, it's a Chrysler Sebring. <laughs> Ew, they're so ugly, they're both. It's a convertible. Please, imagine us cruising around the beach with that. When I was a little kid, I no. used to have one of those on a Hot Wheels, I and I thought it was a Lambo. <laughs> sure, really? I swear to God. Dude, we could bring you back in, man. Look at that. I ain't riding shotgun. You roll that thing, I am done. <laughs> My uh, 112,000 miles for $2,288. Seems a little sketchy, but it's also my least favorite car in the world. No way, dude. We need it. A PT Cruiser, man. It. No Ew. possible that way. That is honestly the best BMX car ever. ever. Never, so, ever. Thing in the world. No, that is perfect. How much do they want for that? 
Wow. Look at him. Pretty good deal. Twenty two hundred bucks. Is it turboed? There's no way. They touring? made a turbo uh, one. Touring? Is the touring one fast one or what? Oof. I think I found a little bit of a gem over here. Oh man, those are 2002 sick. Volvo V70 all-wheel drive. It's a wagon. It's got 133,000 miles on it. Okay. It's got the gold exterior. It's got the brown interior. Okay, how much is Just it? Just traded in super clean and service. This is a very nice, inexpensive Volvo that won't last. Gorgeous inside. Wait, does that mean that won't last? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a weird way. This is a weird wording right here. I'm not even kidding. Look at it. Like, will it say? Look at this. is a very oh. nice, inexpensive Volvo. Won't last. Well, it might mean that, or it means it's gonna like <laughs> break down no when you way. drive it. That's that's a hidden that's a hidden thing right there. We're gonna it's ask. Fully service, three month warranty included. I mean, that's all I need. It's We're gonna a, bring the Swampwood next year and really put it to shame. You could swap an LS in there real easy. Eighteen hundred bucks. That's well under budget. That's well, well under budget. You can get rims and stuff like that after the fact nice. too. Yeah, that's what it needs. I could bring that. Uh, you could get some coils for it. Back to life. You could lower it. Yeah. I mean. All right. So there we go. I think you know that's a pretty good deal. One hundred thirty-three thousand miles. Uh, we'll call shortly. I just wanted to do All right, a couple. screenshot the number so we have it. Just a fun fact for you guys. Whenever we go anywhere and Scotty's got to give a number to the hotel rooms or anything like that, yeah, I guess whose number he gives them. Yeah. Mine. Every okay. time. I'll be sitting there and all of a sudden I hear my number and I go, oh, cool. <laughs> but they close in one hour. No, we're coming to buy a car. Quality purposes. The number that's on here doesn't match up to the number down there. Could be service department. Let's see if I'm not going to be still the vehicle. I'm going to be Then I close it. Oh. Torchlight Motors. Hi, yeah. Do you guys still have that, uh, Volvo, that V70. Volvo V70 on the lot? It's uh, the 2002 all wheel drive, but 120,000 miles on it. 33. One, 133, 133, sorry. It's 2002, gold exterior. Gold exterior. Oh, no, no, that one's full before. The 2002, I have a deposit on. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Thank All you. Right, thank you. All right, here's here's one right here that's pretty cool. I think you guys will approve of this one. It's right on the verge of budget. A little more mild than I want, but, you know, it could last a while. 2004 Audi A4 1.8 T Quattro Avant. Ooh, All right, look that's at that, nice. Dude. That's nice. How many miles? Wagonator, right there. Nice silver color. I can't do color. If it's blue, I I can't do a daily driven blue. There's no way, or a red or a green or anything like that. Hey, but watch what you say about that daily driven blue, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a different story. Hey, how you guys doing? You guys still have that 2004 Audi A4, the the 1.8 wagon? Yes, that's available. Uh, you guys have that available? All right, and you guys are asking for 2,900 for it. Okay, great. And you guys are open till eight o'clock tonight, right? Yep. Anything weird about that car I should know about before I drive down there and check it out? No, no. I drove with it the other day with somebody and they liked it. It's got a, it's got a clean Carfax. I, I don't see a Carfax on the uh, online listing, so I just wanted to know if there's anything odd with it. No engine problems, nothing like that. Yeah, I don't have a copy of it, but if you want, I can order you when, you, when you're here. They're ten dollars. All right, sounds great. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Guys, so we actually got somebody I to think, answer. I think I think we got a winner, chicken. <laughs> we might, we might, we might. Go check some more. Go check some more. But Let's right check now, a couple real quick. Eight o'clock. I mean, I don't like when they say that you got to pay for the Carfax, but like, I mean, I guess when you're buying a car that cheap, you should have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, when you're buying like a fifty thousand dollar car, I guess maybe ten dollars is. Oh, it's a nice rig, dude. Seems like the Audi's on the right track. Yeah, I think we Honestly. need to go. I think we need to just go bring them the money. Let's just go to the Audi. Let's, Let's go, just go the test Audi. drive it, man. We got. We can get in the car and we will look at more on the way. Well, I'll look. You'll drive safely, and we'll go from there. Sound good? Let's do it. I'm Let's ready to roll go. out. Let's roll. Let's go. All right, guys. We are officially rolling up at the used car dealership here in New Jersey. It's everything that you expect from a used car dealership. Definitely used car dealership. -y. There's cars <laughs> all over this place. I'll show you guys what we're working with here. Look at this. This is as used car as it gets. I, mean, I was trying to get Big Boy to buy this car for so long right here. Does it stick? That I was trying. I thought this would be the perfect car. Stand next to it. I gotta see what it looks like. That's nice, dude. That's a perfect match, in my opinion, man. Dang. Right, guys, just went inside. I got the key right here. Try to find this bad boy. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's working, it's right? Yeah. Just tell me. Oh, noise. there we go. Train time. 
Not gonna lie to you, the guy said it does have an oil light every once in a while, but it's just a sensor in the bottom of the pan, which is... That seems like a very car dealership thing to say. Yeah. Oh, it's just a sensor in the bottom of the pan. Oh, that hole though? Don't mind that. Come on, big boy. Let's see if she starts up right. It's not been a smoker's. Smells good? Smells good. Awesome. Woo! Sounds strong. Sounds it sounded started upright, nothing weird. Definitely nothing weird. Uh, big boy is looking for the hood thing, I believe. It's good, you you locked, you pop. I don't know when I it definitely has like a what? When you it's it feels like an old car though, definitely. Sure. Feels like an old car. <laughs> there we go. That's a weird little I like the engine bay though, the engine bay looks nice. I think it used to stay up back, yeah, in, back in 2003. It doesn't look bad in there. I mean, I don't know. What it the looks clean up in here. It looks clean but. <laughs> She's got that turbo. Now it does have the oil light on right now. It does. So what I want to do is I want to turn it back off and I want to check the oil real quick. Because if it's low, that means it's got a leak. But if it's not low, then it could just be a sensor. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I guess if, so. If, if it says low and it's not a sensor, then it's going to be low. So we yeah. just check to see if it's low. All right, so big boy is going to attempt to check the oil, but he's not going to use anything to wipe it off the dipstick. So. <laughs> That's disgusting. You're a brave man. You're a brave, brave man. That is vile. I'm going to have to use car dealership. <laughs> This is, oh. this, is just, this is Chester's uh, snot rag. Here's the old headpiece, real quick. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh, there we go. Took the whole cover off as well. Don't. Come on, dude. Oh, you know what? We're already we're already in it. It's committed now. The oil looks looks pretty clean, right? It's clean, yeah. Is that all the way in? How's she looking, big boy? What are you reading on there? I don't even know if I stuck in the right hole. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. I don't know. I can't tell. I think I did. This came up right here. There's a hole right there. Nice. This phone's on there. Right, we're good. We're in the hole now for sure. It's official. It's official. Hole has been met. There's a phone in the way? Before we get the phone lost in there. Oh, we've made contact. Okay, perfect. <sighs> Just checking the oil. Oh. Just to see if there's, uh, if there's anything. Um, like low about it with the oil light on or anything. Yeah, it's a common thing with these and the uh, is it? sots. We get them in a lot where they... Uh, it's a sensor you think? go bad. The sensor's bolted right to the bottom of the pan. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Oh, shit. Big boy came in to give the people's elbows <laughs> to this thing and this. <laughs> it's nice for a, this is, guys, we're balling on a budget. Oh, dual climate. Dude, that that's, the, that's pretty sick. Stuff right there. Yo, the truck don't even got dual climate. Mine, yours did. Dude, holy hell. <laughs> I just want to know. I just want to meet the meet the guy behind it. All right, guys. We just did a quick little run on this one and uh, drove really good. A lot better than I imagined. But he said that he has some that might be in our budget. So we're actually going to go check out two other cars real quick. So let's go check them out. I don't know much about Volvo, so that's oh. for sure. My Look dash at that, looks insane. Dude. Look at that little dude with the no, you didn't. press the button and that's where the air comes from huh? it's got an aux cord uh, probably not it's an old girl man it's a 99. i'm leading towards the audi already man i just think the audi is a better option right now especially if you want to take some what? bikes and whatnot we bought it under budget all the money's gone we got the audi a4 the avant it's gonna be awesome it's good enough man this is gonna get me by until my truck is complete and then once my truck is done and then we're gonna get back and get a different view I really want to get the 2019 uh, Ram 1500. Trade the, trade nice yours in and get something new? That's what I want to do. So uh, this is just for the time being, just to be able to get it around and not put mileage on the CTSV. And we and we did the challenge. And we did the challenge. But there's a couple things I want to change in the Audi. No wheels, no suspension, nothing like that. I just want to get a radio that plugs into my phone so I can listen to music while I drive. That's all I care about. So that's, that's it. The next thing on the option. Oh, and maybe, maybe, maybe we screw down that one piece that wants to pop out every once in a while. Oh yeah, we'll sort that out. Okay. First official sit in the car of ownership right now. As a vehicle owner here. <laughs> all right, here we go. 
As you guys could tell, it snowed a lot lately. Like, Look at this. It's it's just, I don't know what the lighting looks like, but it looks pretty good right now. Could be. Hold on. Uh, you know Watch what? Her. This is my second Audi I've ever owned. What was the first one? That. Oh, I know. The first one being an Audi R8. <laughs> A little different. Definitely a little different. More practical for sure. Which one, the R8? I know. No, the R8 wasn't. <laughs> I watched that. They had a tr the trunk. It was. It was a. What do they call it? Flunk. Flunk. <laughs> this is gonna be it, guys. We are gonna end this video right now. We got the new vehicle, and we will get this further. We will. Um, next thing, we're gonna try to figure out some kind of radio system that I can work with my phone. So. We should just do some crazy stuff to this thing, like just random, like whatever they want to see. We just like do like it could be the most random stuff ever. Like what? Train horn that's been sitting in the back of the bike shop for so long. Oh, you get yourself in trouble with that, but all right, let's go get some fuel in this bad boy. Let's go fill her up, and that'll be it, guys. So until uh, next time, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Peace.